like I'm driving through a jungle. Hey there everybody, this is Josh. I'm out of my hunting lease. Uh, I'm sitting up in my little swivel uh, hunting platform. It's about 10 feet off the ground. Uh, I put it together at home, kind of took a few pieces apart, brought it out here on the trailer and uh, brought it in here and set it up about 10 feet off the ground. Just want to give everybody a little glimpse of where I hunt at. Uh, I guess earlier you might have saw me driving through the field that field is right out there. I am about 30 yards from it right now. Uh, you might be able to see my Jeep just sitting out there. I've, that's where I brought the uh, stand in. If you look right down in there, that's where I've had on my deer cane from last year and this year. Uh, I'll get down there in a minute, but my prime hunting area is going to be right through here. Uh, the deer I shot last year was actually coming up uh, from that direction and I was hunting last year over by the fence line over in there uh, But not now. I want to try a different angle here uh, I'm sitting kind of right at the There's nothing but pines behind me. So I'm right at the pines in the hardwood uh, interface uh, Like I said 10 feet up um, I, There's some deer trails going up this way through the hardwoods so the deer either come down along the fence line in these hardwoods and out that way where I shot the one last year or vice versa and also right there there's a trail coming up that way kind of up and over the ridge. I'm going to do a full little 360 here because uh, my platform goes 360 degrees. Uh, another prime area might be back in there when they're coming up into the hardwoods. I've not seen a lot of activity there until I'm right here on top of a little ridge. Uh, from what I've been told, the deer doesn't like to uh, go on top of the ridge. They'll kind of go off to the side, which is where I'm at right now. Uh, right there is my little hunting blind that I used last year. Uh, it, this one I was on the fence. Uh, I've had it out here since turkey season. I did move back here a little bit during turkey season. Uh, so I just wanted to give a little look around here. Uh, I've got my deer camera set up right now over in there, which I want to get down and do a little walk around down there too. I just wanted to give a little view of where I'm at and kind of why I put it here. Uh, my little choke point, like I said, from the field uh, in the hardwoods as they go out to another piece of property. So hopefully I'll give me a nice little buck this year. I think I was going to keep my, I was going to say, I think I'm going to keep my little hunting blind down there in case I want to come out and it's raining. That's really nice getting there. Uh, keeps the rain off of me so really how much to it am I, I got a feeder down there right in that little area is a lot of leaves in the way right now I'm not sure it'll start falling here another month or so uh, kind of help clear it up but I I got a pretty good view here so I like it I think it's a good spot so I want to get down off of my little stand here and hopefully I don't fall out and kill myself or break something important so uh, I want to get down and walk around and kind of show you a different view uh, of what's going on here and what I've done down there I'm, uh, so let me uh, turn this off and I'll do another one here in a second All right, just real quick I just got off the stand I'm going to kind of show you what I've got here it's just a little uh, quad stand uh, that chair up there swivels around uh, I've got some padding and stuff that goes up on there. That's the shooting rest. Uh, make it a little bit more comfortable. I'm not going to bring that out here until I actually come. Uh, I didn't know where I was going to put this at the time, so I went ahead and bought a fairly long uh, uh, steel rope with loops in it. Uh, so I've got this thing locked to a tree and kind of braided and locked in. I wrapped some uh, camouflage duct tape around it. Not sure how well it's going to hold up, but you know, I figured it's worth a try. Um, kind of get some of the shininess out of it. You know, I could just end up taking it down and just run a few loops there on the ground and cover it up. But, yeah, I figure somebody's going to steal it. I'm going to make them go through a little bit of extra effort. Uh, down there is a little blind. I've got it open right now. I had a, a chair in it I was using. So, I was up there doing some ranging. Looks like uh, all my shots are going to be about 20 to 30 yards. Uh, 20 to about right here in this area. 
30 will be probably to the fence line. So here is where I've been where I've been prepping the past couple years. Uh, these are dug out pretty much from last year. I dumped some deer cane uh, right here, right here, and kind of on the stump. You can see how they've eaten it up. And right down here, I've put another little spot of deer cane and a salt and a salt brick too, with the deer cane salt brick, mineral lick. You see, they just eaten it up. So I have. I put a little bit more out this year, because I think two more gallons, a uh, few different spots. Uh, you see they've, I've got a brick, salt brick buried there, and there you can kind of see they've already kind of disturbed it. Here's my little feeder, five gallon feeder I've got, I think it's about five, 40 to 50 pounds. Got a solar charger on it, throws out a couple times a day. Um, looked, I didn't see a lot of activity on the camera the past few nights, not sure why. So we'll see if it's improved. Uh, I did move my camera now to up here. I want to see how well, a little bit better shot. So I'm kind of, I wanted to elevate it a little bit. So hopefully I can still get some good shots down here. Uh, and I also just moved this log out. It was a few feet over. I wanted to kind of move it closer to my prime area. And I put a bunch of gooey gel on it. Uh, it's just uh, some more deer cane. This is a, uh, uh, really thick gel, so uh, it's supposed to apply to stumps and whatnot. So that's kind of what I've gotten here. Uh, I did refill the not, not all of that is thrown out. I kind of dumped a little bit while I was refilling the feeder up, um, and dumped a little bit in there. So like I said, last year the deer I shot was coming up from this direction, shot lateral, uh, went right through its lung. Uh, the bolt actually stuck in a, a tree, a pine tree, back in that direction. Uh, as you can see, the you can easily see, I guess, my little blind. The other uh, my stand's a little bit harder to see, but it's up in there. Like I said, all this little foliage might be starting to clear out of the way here soon. And I think that's about it. That's my little hunting side. I've kind of been prepping the past couple of years. Uh, hopefully, I can still use it for a few more years, and hopefully, I get a nice little buck or so out of here. Um, I'll try and attach a few pictures to this uh, from what I've uh, already seen this year. Uh, I've seen some bucks, little small ones. Uh, I didn't see many bucks last year. I think I saw two bucks uh, just kind of passing through. I haven't really seen, um, I saw a lot of doe last year on the camera, but this year I've already seen five bucks. Uh, maybe I've kind of got a little bit of head start this year and the bucks are still running together. So this is my little spot. Let everybody, let everybody see. So that's it. I'm gonna check the camera, make sure I've kind of got it the way I want it. Um, that's why I have my computer out here. It's easier just to load the card in, take a look. Um, that's how I hung the <laughs> my feet are pretty redneck, but camouflage duct tape for the wind, I guess. So all right, let me uh, start packing up and see what I've got, and I'll catch everybody later.